this is a very proud son of Leeds as well. One of British boxing's fastest rising stars as well, Josh Warrington. Very few people outside of his native city had heard of him six months ago. He won the English title. He defended it a couple of times, but he didn't have a stoppage against his name. Since then, he stopped Samir Renemli to win the Commonwealth title. Four months ago, retired Randall Monroe on his stool. He is improving at a rate of knots, Jim. And he certainly managed to excite the city of Leeds in professional boxing. And I don't have that for a while either. There's nothing better than you in loving life and loving the southern devices and loving what's going on in your life at the moment. And everything's happening for Josh Warren. When he's on a roll, he'll give everything tonight. Well, he looks like he's really thriving on the big stage as well. Really enjoying it. As I said, if it's experience that counts, mismatch. Lindsay's got it in bucket loads. 32 years old, but as Jim already alluded to, a couple of 15-month gaps in there as well. And it's a long time. You've got to go back four years to find the last time Martin Lindsay beat a top, top British boxer. He's up against the live up and coming tonight. And Warrington with a couple of stoppages in his last two fights as well. Says he's growing into his body and the power is coming. And I talked to Gary McDonald, one of his regular sparring partners, and he just said, Josh Warrington hits a lot harder than his record would suggest. And the odds makers may be taking that into account as well because they think Warrington holds on certainty here. Odds of 7-4 on Martin Lindsay. Could be a night of celebration, please. 